In this video, we're going to discuss nine potential reasons as to why your big toe might hurt. Now, the first potential reason is a condition called gout, which is a form of arthritis caused by a buildup of uric acid crystals in the toe joint. Now, symptoms can include sudden, severe pain in the big toe, redness, swelling, and warmth. Now, whilst anyone can be affected by gout, it's most common in men over 50. You've also got a higher chance of getting gout if you're overweight, you drink alcohol, you've been through the menopause, you take medications called diuretics, which you might refer to as water tablets, or if you take medications for high blood pressure, such as ACE inhibitors. You might also get gout if you've got other conditions such as high cholesterol, high blood pressure, kidney problems, osteoarthritis, or diabetes. Now, you might get a gout attack if you've got an illness that causes a high temperature, you've drunk too much alcohol, or you've eaten a very large fatty meal. You might also get it if you get dehydrated, injure a joint, or take certain medications. Now, treatment for gout usually involves medications to reduce the uric acid levels, as well as anti-inflammatory drugs and lifestyle changes, such as modifying your diet and reducing your alcohol intake. So if you think you might have gout, it's important that you see your doctor. The second reason for a sore big toe is a condition called bunions, which are bony bumps that form on the joints at the base of the big toe, and they look like this. Now, symptoms can include pain, swelling, and redness around the big toe joint, and the toe might lean towards the other toes. Bunions can be caused by wearing tight or ill-fitting shoes, genetics, arthritis, or foot stress. Now, treatment options for bunions include wearing comfortable shoes, using pads or orthotics, taking pain relief medication, and possibly surgery. And for more information on bunions, please see the other video elsewhere on this channel. The third reason is an ingrown toenail, which occurs when the edge of the toenail grows into the surrounding skin. Now, symptoms of an ingrown toenail can include pain, redness, swelling, and an infection at the side of the toenail. Ingrown toenails can be caused by improper nail trimming, tight shoes, or an injury to the toe, and treatment usually involves soaking the foot wearing comfortable shoes, proper nail trimming, and in severe cases, minor surgery to remove the ingrown part of the nail. Now, if you think you might have an ingrown toenail, you could see a chiropodist who is a foot health professional. The fourth reason is arthritis, and that can affect the big toe, which is where there is inflammation of the joint causing pain and stiffness. Now, symptoms can include persistent joint pain, swelling, stiffness, and reduced range of motion. Arthritis in the big toe can be down to two main reasons, wear and tear, which is a condition known as osteoarthritis, or autoimmune conditions, which is known as rheumatoid arthritis. Now, treatment options include pain relief, medications, physical therapy, and sometimes surgery. But again, this will depend on the type of arthritis that you've got and how it's affecting your day-to-day -day life. Now, the fifth reason is an injury or sprain of the big toe joint. Symptoms can include pain, swelling, and limited joint movement, often due to pushing off the big toe forcefully, commonly in sports. Now, treatment typically involves rest, ice, compression, raising the big toe up, so elevation, and anti-inflammatory medications. The sixth reason is hallux rigidus, which is a type of arthritis at the base of the big toe causing stiffness. Now, symptoms can include pain and stiffness in the big toe, difficulty walking or bending the toe. Hallux rigidus can be caused by wear and tear of the joint or by previous injuries. Treatment options again include pain relief, shoe modifications, physical therapy, and in severe cases, surgery can be considered. The seventh reason is something called sesamoiditis, which is inflammation or fracture of the sesamoid bones which are found under the big toe. Now, symptoms can include pain under the big toe joint, especially when you're walking or putting pressure on the toe, so pushing off, and sesamoiditis can be caused by repetitive stress or injury. Treatment typically involves ice, padding, rest, and sometimes physical therapy. The eighth reason is injury or trauma, which refers to any direct injury to the toe, such as stubbing it or dropping something heavy on it. Now, symptoms can include immediate pain following the injury, swelling, bruising, and sometimes difficulty moving the toe. Again, similar to treatment for a sprain, treatment typically involves rest, ice, compression, elevation, so raising the foot up, and possibly medic evaluation to assess for fractures. Now, the ninth reason for a big toe pain is having an infection, which can be caused by bacterial or fungal infections that affect the toe. Now, symptoms typically include pain, redness, swelling, warmth, and sometimes discharge or pus. Now, infections can result from things like cuts, ingrown toenails, or other injuries. Treatment usually involves 
antibiotics for bacterial infections, and antifungal treatments for fungal infections. Now, if your big toe pain is persistent, severe, or accompanied by other symptoms like fever, or if you're worried about it, it's important that you see your doctor for a proper diagnosis and treatment plan.